Howdy folks, it's Tuesday, January 8, 2019. We're in the workshop. Um, in my blog, I had said that I was going to be um, growing up five inch newels, and newel posts, you know, for so that you can put a banister attached to it. And that's an example of what was gonna be a five inch newel. I talked to John and he thought four by four, an actual four by four would be the way to go. Um, so I'll do these one in one day, one each day. Uh, I did one yesterday and uh, here it is. So, you know, you have a, a good side that I had planed. This I've planed. And if you look, you can see there's a seam, there's a seam, and there's a seam. So you've got one, two, three, four boards. Now, that's after I had sent it through the jointer. Um, when I plane it, or when I glue it all up, I had like 16 clamps on this four and a half foot board. But you can see the glue squeezes out. Here's where there's some uh, excess glue and the like. So what I, because I'm going to go with a four by four, and I have both sides, this side, the bottom side, and the side that I had shown you, that are all good. And I know four inches is my smallest point, what I will do is I'll tip it face down and with the side that I just jointed, I'll run that against this table, this fence, and set the mark at four inches. And I'll cut this down to probably four and an eighth so that when I'm done, it's four and an eighth. Then what I'll do is I'll take, and I know two passes through here, uh, through the jointer, will take off an eighth of an inch, then I'll be down to exactly four inches. And the reason I know two passes is gonna be an inch is I've done it a lot. It's hard on that calibrator to see where we are, but uh, I can tell you, even though it says eighth, it's maybe a 64th, but if I run, run it through here two times, it'll take off about an eighth of an inch. So that's making uh, newel posts. And I have three more glued up, and I have enough over there for another one, so I needed five at the top of the stairs. Um, when I did that, you know, I had talked with my friend Pete and he's now using clamps and gluing and the like, and I had told him parchment paper or else he read it, but I knew parchment paper uh, glue will not uh, stick to it. And here's parchment paper, you know, like uh, uh, this came out of Linda's kitchen because she uses parchment paper. And uh, so I had all of these two by four blocks on top and on one on top, one on bottom. And, uh, and I had all of this pile of clamps clamping up the uh, that newel post that you saw. Um, and I let it sit uh, more, a little bit more in the day. I probably took it out at 1.30, 2 o'clock today. And I had gotten done with it yesterday at nine in the morning. So um, that's what I, uh, that's the result of that. But also, obviously, it didn't just happen because I had to cut a lot of boards and then I had to um, do them so that I could uh, plane them on there. <clears throat> so that's the making of a newel post. Uh, if I get to, Cutting it down today, I'll uh, show that to you. Thank you.